At the foothills of the beautiful Dandenongs, 25 kilometres southeast of Melbourne, lies the Shire of Ferntree Gully. For the past 13 years, CSR ReadyMix has successfully operated a quarry at Ferntree Gully. Since taking over the quarry, ReadyMix has made efficiency, profitability, safety and environmental awareness the top priorities. But quarry operations haven't always run so smoothly. Founded over a hundred years ago, Fern Tree Gully Quarry's past has been a turbulent one, witnessing numerous owners, several closures, difficult economic times and extremely harsh working conditions. The first quarry on the Fern Tree Gully site began back in 1888. This small operation grew in the early 1900s when Herman and Gillis, two local road contractors, bought the quarry. This was a profitable time for the quarry. Local historians note that during this period, most roads in the area had felt the impact of the Herman scoops and ploughs and gained most of their material from the Ferntree Gully quarry. When the railway came to Ferntree Gully, the quarry also supplied the ballast for the rail track. Despite its success as a business in the early years, life inside the quarry wasn't always so enjoyable. While most workers would have been pleased simply to have a job, particularly during the Depression, working conditions were extremely tough. Once stone has been blasted from the side of the quarry, spoilers would have to break the boulders up manually. It was back-breaking work. These difficult working conditions continued right up until the early 1970s. Employees not only had to work long hours for little pay, but they had to contend with all types of weather and health hazards. In the early days, or we were using all hand well, we had an old, foot, uh, old steel loaders, cable loaders, which was the first loader I ever worked on, which was an old Ford's a major. No external cabins or nothing. You sat out in the rain all day. Compared to today, they're like lounge rooms. But uh, no, it was very hard. I, I'd go home cold of a night and I was absolutely buggered then. Safety measures, like all other working conditions, were crude. In some areas, they were non-existent. Safety wasn't a thing that was, wasn't even thought of in those days, like dust suppression or anything like that, or safety helmets, no. Well, you, being a spoiler, you, I don't think you'd uh, wear a, a safety helmet when you got to swing a spoil hammer all day, so the safety was, just wasn't there. Other problems facing the quarry during its history have been the numerous closures of the various operations due to difficult economic times, high maintenance costs and scarcity of the resources. Despite these factors, quarrying in the Ferntree Gully site has remained relatively consistent since the late 1800s. From the times when the site was a series of smaller quarries to the present where the Ferntree Quarry is one large operation, Environmental concerns have always been an issue for residents and quarry operators alike. In the time between 1950 and 1980, the quarry was a source of major concern for locals of Ferntree Gully and environmentalists. Generally, within the industry, environmental issues were not given a high priority, and as a consequence, few measures were taken to prevent disturbance from blasting, dust and traffic. As the township of Ferntree Gully grew, and the site of the quarry expanded, the buffer between the two grew smaller. This meant that any dust and noise was a more immediate problem to the residents than ever before. During the 60s and 70s, explosions in the quarry occurred twice a day, five times a week. The rock face was clearly visible from the township, and due to the difficulty experienced in working the site, it was not easy to shield residents from the effects of the quarry. In 1979, Farley and Lures acquired the site from Kerr and in 1982 was subsequently bought out by CSR ReadyMix, the current owners and operators of the quarry. Since then, ReadyMix has improved all aspects of the operations. The latest technology and most sophisticated machinery has been introduced to maximise efficiency and productivity. A win. Laurie first started here, we were on RL 124, so we've come down some 70 metres since Laurie's time back in the early 50s. The annual output of the quarry back when Laurie was working, and perhaps even earlier to the 1920s, would have been between 20 to 30,000 tonnes per year, and we now do about 20,000 tonnes every 10 to 14 days. So the quarry has got a lot more intense, 
since Laurie's time here. We have um, 17 people engaged in production, 10 truck drivers, about a dozen maintenance crew. Uh, in Laurie's time there would have been five spoilers, one driller um, and one manager. So our total annual output now is in excess of 700,000 tonnes per annum. As with all CSR businesses, safety has been a top priority. Safety equipment and training play an important role in the day-to-day -day workings of the quarry. CSR ReadyMix has always been committed to environmental issues and its many operations throughout Australia reflect this. At Ferntree Gully, ReadyMix is an important and active member of the community and like the residents, it cares very much about the welfare of the local environment. Despite the measures taken by ReadyMix to ensure that disturbance to the area surrounding the quarry is kept to a minimum, residents have remained sceptical about the benefits the quarry has brought to the community. Certainly the local residents were greatly affected by the quarrying operation in the 50s and 60s. We've addressed those issues with technology, with better blasting initiation systems, dust control and noise cladding in the crushing plant. Unfortunately, the residents' thoughts and uh, perceptions of our industry are still linked with the past and haven't kept up with the present. While in the 50s and 60s the rock face proved an eyesore in the area, today, due to measures taken by ReadyMix, you cannot see the quarry site from any aspect of the town. Blasting is kept to a minimum, even though the plant is at full capacity. The CSR ReadyMix quarry at Ferntree Gully will cease extraction in December 1995, at which stage rehabilitation of the quarry will take place. Once rehabilitation of the quarry has been completed, the land will be given back to the people of Ferntree Gully for their enjoyment and future benefit. And when we develop and move on to the rehabilitation program, you know, we hope to have that same pride and dedication for the success of the rehabilitation program. ReadyMix is optimistic about the future of this area. Sections of the quarry that have been rehabilitated have flourished. Flora and fauna have re-established themselves in plentiful numbers. Before this hill was quarried off there, all was up there with a few straggly old trees and a couple of old magpies and a couple of old crows and that. But now that's been rehabilitated, there's a hell of a lot of bird life up there that was never there before. So I think it's done the world of good for the birds around here anyway. Employees of ReadyMix will be saddened to leave. A great deal of dedication and pride has surrounded the 13 years that ReadyMix has operated in Ferntree Gully. The quarry has brought much to the community since ReadyMix has taken over its operation. Local jobs have been created and money spent by the company and employees in the community have helped the local economy. But now ReadyMix is looking to the future and after a long association with Ferntree Gully, ReadyMix is dedicated to rehabilitating the entire quarry to give a unique parkland back to all those in the area to enjoy.